Hey all, welcome to Sacred Village, the fourth location of the Amaterasu quest line. So Amaterasu finally talked to us in the previous location after running away from us for the past two locations. And she said that she was a divine guardian but thousands of years ago. She failed later and now she wants to find if anybody even respects her today. So this is the priest of Amaterasu, one of the monks and he did not know about the existence of Amaterasu, he thought maybe she has disappeared somewhere and stopped respecting her, that is praying to her. So the temple of Amaterasu is in a bad shape, we along with Diggi are going to fix it here before Amaterasu arrives back in the temple. We have to please Amaterasu because we need to retrieve one of the uh, spheres, guardians, that green thing which we need for Terra. So the temple is probably the main building in the center. I'm just digging out the houses here that have basically nothing much. Maybe just as a side quest. Yep, it contains just nothing. And we even have a hill and a treasure part here. So let's quickly do the treasure part now. Hmm, that seems to be interesting. This is blocked and I think to open that big white line or the blockage we need to put the red laser on the receivers there. Hmm, let's work that out. We have two laser sources and a lot of rotatable mirrors. This is not that hard, quite easy in fact. This one will just go around and hit the left one and this is the one that is supposed to hit the right one. Okay, the blockage disappeared and we can get the treasure part now. Mm, well, not yet. It's in the next screen. Not so easily, we are yet to find the treasure part. We have more light sources that are going somewhere. I think these are going to appear in the next screen after we go through that exit. Let's see. Yes, it does. So this is even more interesting puzzle. I am loving it. So many mirrors and we have more exits on the left and the top side as well. So for now I'm going to point it to this side and that seems to be the treasure area. It's again guarded by that light or whatever that is and we need to activate the four receivers to be able to proceed. We are back to where we started from. Mm. For the yellow light at least, I don't think there is any other way to put it. Yes, a blue light and there is going to be a red and a green light as well somewhere around this puzzle. So since that's the only way it could turn, I have turned it. And that is the yellow light we threw from the beginning. In the central area it did not get blocked and now we are to the left of the central area. So now here it can either point up or down. So that's a choice to make. I am choosing to take it upward. Here is the red light. I surely have a feeling that this is going to be challenging. This isn't a really easy thing. 
now we have thrown it back down let's see when we reach it or maybe we can check now where it is going and just get done with one of them at least red also we pointed in the center oh the yellow has actually activated so the yellow light seems to be in correct positions the red is not so taking some alternative routes for the red one that's a long journey Mm, does that work? It goes all the way to the upper side. Not sure if there is any other possible combination. But we will check that out. We also have to fix the blue one. So doing that while we are doing the others. And here is the source of green light. The blue one has passed straight, so that path for the blue one was wrong. We'll have to figure out something else. And this is where the red light has appeared. Again, it passes all the way to the top, so we have got the red one wrong, the green one and the blue one too. So everything is kind of messed up. Let's correct them one by one. Trying some other combinations for the green one. Maybe to the right side. Or the left one. Mm. Okay, goes straight down. And we do have a mirror here. So hopefully it has hit it. Nope. No signs of hitting it. Let's see if we can actually turn it from here. And we seem to be able to. So that's a relief. I think the green is done here. The blue was wrong. So trying to figure out alternative routes for the blue one. Okay, it at least doesn't go straight up from this side. The lower one is probably wrong, but just to be sure, that's right, the blue receiver is on the top left. So turn and get again, let's go all the way to the top left, hopefully. And it passes straight, let's see if we can turn it from the other side, but nope, we don't have suitable mirrors on that side so that solution for the blue was wrong mm, can it go straight back down i don't think so but it can go this way and it also has a blockage this way mm, i think this works this is going to fall on the expected source. So now we have three of them in place. The only thing left is red. Let's see which way we can place the red now. It's on the top right, so we have to arrange it accordingly. Mm. This is surely not right. I think I've tried this earlier as well. Back down again. Mm. Does this work? I had seen a mirror up there, so this could be a solution. Let's see. It's going straight. And we have another mirror, so I have a feeling we are on the right track. Uh, no, that's a dead end. We will have to shift out the yellow one if we have to use that mirror. And that won't land on the red one either. Hmm, so what can we do?
tracing it back to where we started from. Let's see if a different path works now. We took it straight up. Maybe we can continue the usual path. And from here maybe take a different direction down there. That falls on one of the mirrors too. So hopefully this one works at least. Again it's a dead end. We are hitting the green mirror. If we displace it then the green light won't be hitting anymore. It goes to the green source anyway so there is no way that light will help us activate the red one. Hmm. So I am kind of trying to backtrace it now starting from the source. We have to fall the light on this mirror and to do so we have to fall it on this top left one and it's only possible from the left side. Hmm, this actually works. This would have hit it and it indeed has. So backtracing was the ideal solution. And we have finally got the treasure part. A shortcut has appeared. Okay, back up again, out into the woods, the sacred village. And let's continue with the temple. That was an indeed interesting treasure part. I had fun doing it. But now we can probably focus on the temple now. The priest probably has given a task. Let's see if the temple has anything. Nothing. We have already dug up the entire temple and it has a lot of holes. It's in a really bad state. Let's talk to the monk. Wood for repairs, village north of here lives a woodcutter. Alright. A female woodcutter, that's interesting. Oh, let's head to that village now. Meanwhile, speaking of the location, it's a long one. 1153 tiles long. And will cost about 2 million energy to completely clear. of extra tiles being a long location so let's quickly dig them and head to the village So this probably is the village, that's a god child, some extra energy for us. We have several houses here, I wonder if we have to check out all of them. The food cutter probably lives in the house with the sawmill next to it. These one must be just some empty houses like this. Technically not empty, they have dirt tiles in them, but that's not something we need. Hmm. What a nice day we are having. Indeed. 
This one again probably has nothing much. Okay, that's the wood cutter and we need some quality wood. Five pieces of it. So let's find those that wood. It's somewhere in this northern jungle. Okay, that's the wood we need. Tree trunks. Five of them is what we need. That's two. Three. Mm, that hole we'll check out later. For now, I guess let's continue with finding the trees. Are we done? That was probably it. Mm, let's talk to the woodcutter and we'll find out if that was enough. All done. Hmm. So we've got five wooden slats. Where we are supposed to use them, I have no idea. But let's try that hole now. Okay, that hole seems to go really deep. And we have landed at uh, some place and we have a topaz here, there is nothing much here. Now for the order of these things, I have no idea but there must be some hint somewhere outside. Okay that looks like the hint beside that house. Yellow, blue, red and orange. So let's place those stones according to the flowers we saw. Yellow, blue, yellow on top, blue is on left. Red is down there and orange is to the left. Ah, uh, sorry, right. And that works. So get as the topaz. And that's all we had to do in this section. I guess we can return to the woodcutter. Not the woodcutter, the monk maybe. No, nothing. That house has a tile, but it probably needs a different quest. Mm, so I'll probably just go back and talk to the monk. Maybe he has a different quest. And then we always have to come back here because there are some undug tiles. Still a long way to go. Okay, monks have started work on the temple and it seems to be work, uh, fine. 
They have fixed the bridge, so that's where the next quest is for. Okay, off to the mason now, asking to fix the statue of Amaterasu. Those are just some tiles that I initially missed. Now let's head to the left where we'll probably meet the mason. So one of the houses is of the mason. Not this one. And I don't think it's either of these. Okay, the mason seems to be standing right outside. And these houses are just for fun maybe. Let's talk to the mason who is standing outside. Okay, mine has caved in and the chisel that is used to make the statues is in there. So next up, Diggy goes to the mine and retrieves the chisel that's lost in there. Okay, let's head to the mine that is on the right side. Interestingly, we have two mines here and I have no idea which one is the correct. So I'm going to check them one by one. Okay, that looks like a maze, a deep part like the one we initially saw with the hole. And this seems to be a puzzle. Maybe the solution to a puzzle. But the puzzle is somewhere else, maybe in the other mine. Now I have no real idea what exactly I have to remember here. Oh, that gate up there has closed up. So this in fact is the puzzle and I think here is the solution. Red, blue, uh, yellow, blue, red and green. That's the order of crystals. We saw pieces scattered on the way here. So I am following that route. Starting with yellow, then blues. And I messed up. So start with yellow, then blue, then red and then green. I repeat that order and that seems to be working. Yellow, blue, red, green and we have reached the end. But this puzzle only led to a topaz, another topaz like one we found earlier. So this, this level is having puzzles to get some topazes. That's kind of nice. I love puzzles no matter what they are for. 
In fact, initially I saw more of those scattered pieces. So, fortunately, they were all in the same order. Hence, what I solved actually worked. Anyway, so this second mine is the correct one now. Let's keep exploring this one now. Pull this up so we can pass from the other side. Okay, another puzzle. This one is not that hard. Moving these stones was quite easy. I also have to take this stone back up. And let's continue exploring this way. Pull it down to be able to pass from the other side. Some more stones to shift through. So let's do that. The corners are a nice place to put the stones. And we even have a sponge here for some reason. I have no idea why they put a sponge in the middle of stones. Could it be there is some bonus with the sponge? Sponge is usually used for clearing water. So let me see if there is any water in the cave at all. Anyway, we have moved that stone so we can now pass from the other side. We have more room here and all the paths are accessible at this point. Hmm. Another room accessible and we have a hidden tile here that leads us to something we probably were not supposed to go to. Now he is hungry and I don't know what he wants to feed on. And that's the chisel that we were looking for, which was trapped and the mason needed this to make the statue. it back there but wait I think the rat might use this sponge because he is hungry the sponge has holes he would love to play around in them this is this could be cheese and not sponge and he would indeed love some cheese so I am going to try and take it there to see if this is a bonus it looks very likely because that's the only piece of cheese or sponge, whatever you call that. So I'm going to put it here for now and then pull it up from upside later. Ok, 
Okay, we have to move that stone away first. We can't actually go to the other side. So we will have to pull this up. Further and further maybe. Just putting the stones into a corner and we can put more stones there. So that will probably give us enough room to be able to take the cheese to the rat. I will take this stone out too because I will need a complete square to go around with the cheese or sponge whatever. So pulling this further up, now I have to reach the other side to be able to push it from the other side. Now why is that difficult? I don't know. Okay, that is because we have already put the sponge or the cheese in place. So we will have to shift that away first maybe. Or is there even a different possible solution? Which I don't think so. So I am going to play with the cheese itself. Great, we were able to push the stone and now just take it how the rest of the stones are placed in the corners. Then we will have a completely clear passage for the sponge. And I have worked so much for this, I really hope it is a bonus. So back to the cheese and let's start pushing it all the way to that animal there. And that is indeed a bonus. So great that it finally worked. It would have been disappointing to work so much on this and then not getting a bonus. But there is a bonus. So with that done, let's head back. Not much left now, but I would still say a significant amount. Let's return the chisel. Hurry up. Okay, back to the temple. Hmm, think is the one supposed to fix the statue? Let's enter the temple. All the holes in the wood have been fixed now. And statue is fixed too. 
Now we have to invite the villagers, villagers to the ceremony of Amarita so of arrival. She is going to arrive here really soon. So we do need some guests to show Amaterasu that she is still respected to this date. Okay, that one was probably a monk agreeing to join us. So I will count that as one. There is probably no indicator that it is, I mean, he has joined us. I'm not sure if there are going to be any indicators and if it's somebody else we have to invite because I think the quest has a zero out of it so there has to be an indicator the monks are still there where they are supposed to be they haven't joined us so village I think back there there was a village somewhere around here and it's not here. This is where we started from. Mm, where was the village? Maybe to the left here. I think yes. To the left and up it is. We have to announce the opening of the temple in the village and invite people to join us in the celebration. So let's head straight to the village. There's also a path here for this village. There was a village somewhere and I think it's in the top side itself. But I'm just going to check this once. Indeed, there is a village here too. So maybe this village as well as the upper village, both of them count. The guards have refused to let him in. Dicky can though. Okay, now we have an indication. One out of eight has agreed to join us. And two out of eight now. So it's just about checking out each house and talking to the people inside. Some houses have no people. Speed portion. So that's the last house in this village, and it doesn't seem to contain any residents either. Mm, I think that's it for the village part. Ahead, we have mine, which probably does not have any humans or people who would be willing to join our ceremony. So now I'm going to go up there which has more houses. Okay, five out of eight. This village is probably having the rest of the residents that we are seeking to recruit. Not recruit, invite is a better word. And if this citizen leaves, we will also be able to dig the ties that he has been hiding from us. Just two of them. And there was a man standing out here earlier. He has moved inside and his pigs have escaped hmm, they haven't went too far we just have to catch them and bring them back so let's catch them all that's one i could only see two though maybe the rest are in the hole i have no idea how high pigs would find a hole that in the corner and three of them jump this deep into the hole but at least one of them indeed has jumped this deep 
Others have not. Others are somewhere else. So let's go back out again and keep finding the other two. Hmm, they could have went in any of the other houses or back there. But I don't think they went as back as the temple. They must be in one of these houses. Hopefully this is another one. Okay, that's the fourth one and that's slightly where the fifth one is. Yep, that's right. So with all five done, let's talk to this villager and recruit him or rather invite him to. Okay, all the tiles are done. And that's our child. But since we have already done all the tiles, the child won't be useful here. Maybe it will be used in the next location. So with all tile dance, I guess all we have to do is enter the temple and talk to a few people. Okay, everybody is here. So is Amaterasu. And she is probably convinced that everybody is still believing her. So that's it for this location. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.